I am shooting this at 9.47 p.m. Central Standard Time. I've been making plans all day to go see UFC 200 at my local Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, Mike, um, for those of you who watch Mike and the Guido or the Budget Wrestling Podcast, had received an email saying that from Buffalo Wild Wings saying, Come watch UFC 200 at Buffalo Wild Wings. As you can see, I am not at Buffalo Wild Wings watching UFC 200. I am front in front of this camera because I am extraordinarily upset. Actually, no, I'm not upset. I am flat out pissed! You see, we went to our local Buffalo Wild Wings expecting to watch UFC 200. Because of this email that was sent by Buffalo Wild Wings to Mike saying you can come watch UFC 200 at Buffalo Wild Wings. Because honestly, if it weren't for UFC 200, I wouldn't have gone to Buffalo Wild Wings. They're overpriced food, which honestly, if it's not the wings, tastes like absolute dog food. It makes no sense for me, someone who lives pretty much paycheck to paycheck, to go there on a regular basis, let alone at all. But I was ready to go watch UFC 200 at Buffalo Wild Wings because I was looking forward to the UFC 200 card. However, I don't get that chance. Because it wasn't until after that started that the management of my local Buffalo Wild Wings stated that they were a franchise and that the UFC 200 only was mandatory for corporate stores. Something that was nowhere in the email. Something that was never stipulated. It wasn't even mentioned when we walked in the door. Because if it had been, we'd have turned right around and walked out. Now, in all fairness, our waitress, Amanda, did a great job. She made sure my drink was full, and she made sure I was satisfied with my meal. Actually, I had the wings this time. But let me just suffice it to say that I feel lied to. That I was deceived. And to be honest, Buffalo Wild Wings, you are no longer getting my business. We're done here.